You ready to plant some tomatoes, buddy? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite vegetable in the garden? Um, Jimmy Nardellos. Still Jimmy Nardellos? Well, good thing we've got some Jimmy Nardellos to plant. Astro's ready. We have our three beds ready to plant, and we've got our seeds picked out, and we got our helper. <laughs> this is very wet. Are you going to wreck my butt off? <laughs> no, I ain't going to wreck your butt off. Well, I'm What's going to be in this bed? This will be some heirloom tomatoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're fairly old seeds, but I got them from EMI Gardener. Is that focused? Yeah. In 2016, I think, but they should still germinate. Beef We've steak. got some beefsteak tomatoes. These are all old heirlooms. Brandy wines. Mm-hmm and Cherokee purples. We're gonna do 12 plants in this bed, do four of each, and I'm just gonna put four or five seeds per spot where they're old, and we'll thin them out if all of them grow. We are the honey of the germ. We are the honey of the germ. He's taking a Sharpie and marking it in at one foot, and then at one foot from the other direction. That should give us a two foot space. Yep. No, these are going to be over two feet, so I'm going to start one foot in. So we'll just do like a hole there and go two more feet. That gives a two foot spacing. And all we'll do is drop about five or six seeds down in each one of those holes. We're going to do Two beef steak here, two back there, so we'll have four, four, and four. So I'm just gonna put these there. Well, I'm gonna use every one of these, so I'm gonna put probably six or seven per hole. And we'll just thin them out. Which one's which one is that one? Purple Cherokee? This is the Cherokee purple, yeah. Seven. And then we're just gonna barely cover them. And pat them down. That bed's done. I just gotta make sure I keep it watered for seven to 14 days until they start popping. Now let's do the next one. Did I miss anything? No, nope, just raking. Got sweat beads on my forehead. I need a haircut. Don't we all? But that's impossible now. Unless we do it ourselves. In this bed, we're gonna do one small row of cilantro. We're gonna do some round of hungry sweet peppers. It's only sweet pepper seeds I have left. And we're gonna do some early treat hybrid tomatoes, which is the only tomato seed we could find locally. So I'm basically gonna just do the two foot spacing, but on the cilantro, I'm just gonna do a line in their area and do, I don't know, six or eight seeds per foot and then we'll thin them out afterwards. We gotta hold back. Yeah, I went to Walmart like two weeks ago to get some seeds and it's the only one they had left. I wonder why nobody wanted that one. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I've never heard of it before. Maybe that's it's why. It's supposed to get ripe before all the rest of them do. It is a roughly a one inch deep trench and I put the seeds ever three inches or so. 
I actually put about five on that one end right there, but mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave. Mm -hmm. Bury them over. Put them a little pat to make sure they're, they've got good soil to seed contact. Now let's do some peppers. These beds could have actually uh, stood another healing to be a little bit uh, finer, but it's time to plant. Well, this is all the seeds we have left. I'm wanting to do four, so I'm going to do three or four seeds. Of what? These are the Round of Hungry sweet peppers. Okay. So I'm going to do three or four seeds. Every two foot. Can barely cover them. I'm going to do probably four or five of these per spot. These are fairly new seeds, so they should have pretty good germination rate on. What do you want me to write on it? Um, what do we need labeled next, Dad? Nothing really. We don't need any. label cilantro Mommy. round of hungry. And hey, Mama. Well, let's just label cilantro, okay? Okay. So we have it. Where's the marker at? Right here. Dad has it. Does Mom know how to spell cilantro? Yeah. S A. S -A. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah. stick it right here. Now you gotta put it in front of that row. Good job, dude. Yeah. Now all we have to do is wait. So now this bed's done. Now in our last bed, we're gonna do some really old okra seeds and hope they germinate. And we're gonna do some mammoth sunflower seeds. If the okra seeds don't germinate, we'll just go back and put some late sunflowers. So we'll just have some pretty sunflowers. Good plan, Stan. Okay, so these are really old okra seeds. I don't know if they're going to germinate or not, but we're going to put all these in this trench and hopefully they'll germinate and we'll have some fried okra. We're trying to use up some of our old seeds. Yeah, I think those were packaged in 2015. Uh, yeah. So. This is 416. So that means they were from 2015. Yeah. Hopefully they work so out. It's going to be iffy. We're about to find out. If they grow or not. <laughs> I hope so. I'm going to do them about every three inches. <laughs> Mm. and mammoth sunflowers we're gonna plant these about every six inches in a one inch trench just like we did the okra Is that good? <laughs> yeah, I want some more. 